after studying this module you shall be able to understand what is group multiplication table how to get the entries in these tables define rearrangement theorem construct group multiplication table for g2 g3 g4 groups no the group multiplication table for c2e point group define group generators and know their importance also you will have an idea of symmetry properties of some common orbitals in earlier modules on group and its characteristics we have seen that in a group of order h there are all possible symmetry products in a group of order h the all possible symmetry products are h square that is h into h h square is the total number of symmetry products these symmetry products can be rearranged in a tabular form which has h rows and h column and this table is known as the group multiplication table group multiplication table all possible combination must be must be the part of the group the total h square product in a group of order h can be rearranged in a table with h rows and h column each row and each column is labeled and headed with group element starting with e as the first element then the entry into the table under a given column and along a row is the product of the elements which had the column and that had the row since combinations are generally non commutative in nature there is a general notation that is to be followed now for getting this product each row and each column is to be had each, each column and each row element must be multiply then the entry in the table under a given column and along a row is the product of the elements which had that column and that had the row since combinations are generally non commutative in nature there is a general notation that is to be followed in taking such combination or products or multiplication and that notation is written as that is column element followed by row element and there is a row there is an arrow pointing towards left according to this at the intersection of the column headed by a and row headed by b we find an element which is the product ab and taking such product one must start from right and then go to the left as shown by the arrow head on the product of the elements that is if it is ab and the arrow is pointing towards left first perform operation b then perform operation a to get the correct combination product this direct direction must always be followed as the combination of elements may be non commutative an incomplete group multiplication table of a group which has the elements a b c d e f is shown that is we are having a row headed by e a b c d f and column headed by e a b c d f and then there are the entries which are to be filled up so in this 
this is group multiplication tension table of order 6. Now, rearrangement theorem. Each row and each column in the group multiplication table lists each of the group element once and only once. From this, it follows that no two rows may be identical, nor two columns will be identical. Thus, each row or column is a rearrangement list of the elements of the group. Construction of group multiplication table of an abstract group. Let us take the group of order 1 and which is nothing but E. There is one group of this order and we are having one element into this. Now let us take a G2 group of order 2. If it is a group of order 2, the elements say are E and A. There are two rows and two columns as shown. Now this group of order 2 has the elements as listed G2 is EA and then column is EA. Now we have to find the elements 1, 2, 3 and 4. These elements can be obtained by taking the products of the type AB that is start from right go to left as follows. We have to find this these entries. Element 1 is E into E, element 2 is A into E is equal to A, element 3 is E into A is equal to A, element 4 is A into A is E. So the complete group is given by this one. Now, so the complete group takes looks like as it is given over here that is EA, then second row is EA, third row is A. Now, let us take another group of G3. Here, this is the order of the group is 3 and elements are E, A and B. So, the format of the group multiplication table is, is shown as given in this that is, we are having the first row is EAB and column is EAB. Now, the entries here again, we have to fill up the entries 1, 2, 3 and 4. And these are generated by taking the various products. E combines with elements, leave it unchanged. E into E is E, A into E is A, B into E is B. We have to find the entries now 1, 2, 3, 4 in this table. Now, example element 1 is A into A is what? There is only one way to complete the table. Number 1, either A is A into A is B or second A into A is E. If A into A is E, then B into B is E. We can have the entries in the box 1 and box 4 as E. We are left with boxes 2 and 3. Since each row or column lists the element once and only once, in box 2 we have the product BA is equal to A and in box 3 there will be B into A is equal to B. The table 4 now looks as given that is E A B E A B A E A B B E. Now in this table entries in two rows are repeated. So it is not a valid group multiplication table. Thus our earlier assumption that A A is equal to E is not crop. Thus A A is equal to B. In box 1 entry will be B. 
as the AA product element, then BB will be equal to A in box 4. Thus, then for entries 2 and 3, the product elements are BA and AB and these are equal to E. And now the complete G3 group multiplication table looks as given in the and in this we find there is no repetition of the elements in either group. The G3 group which we have considered is an example of cyclic group obtained by taking A, A, A square, A, A that is equal to B and A cube that is equal to E. Now for G4 group table, let us take another cyclic group in which all elements are generated by taking various powers of the elements. Say element is x and all elements are generated by taking its power. x is equal to a, x square is equal to b, x cube is equal to c, x4 is equal to e. And group multiplication table for G4 looks like as given in this. Here we have now to fill up the various entries 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All these 9 entries we have to fill up and these can be obtained just by taking the product AA, BA, CA, AB, BB, CB, AC, BC, CE. And again, we have to start from right to left. Then the products are AA, nothing equal to XX is equal to X square is equal to B. BA is equal to X square into X is equal to X cube is equal to C. Like this, we can generate all the line nine elements of this group, multi uh, group multiplication table. And in this, we also have every types of possible product. Thus the complete group multi table for G4 point group is given. This is also a cyclic group of order 4 in which the elements are generated by taking the group multi uh, power of the one element. Now there are there is another group of order 4 G4 of second type in this above example. If B is the inverse of B, now there are two ways. Either A is the inverse of A, then there is another choice except C is the inverse of C or inverse of A is C and inverse of C is A. On construction of group multiplication table using one and two choices, you will notice that only choice one is correct. Group multiplication table of C to B point group. That is we take water molecule and take the various material elements into this. Let us take C to B point group and its group elements are four symmetry operations E, C2, sigma, XZ, sigma, Y generated by E, C2 and two sigma Vs. We find the group entities into this. We know that sigma V is sigma V into sigma V is E, C2 into C2 is E. So we are left with now the entries into the boxes as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is entries which we have to fill up in this table. And these can be again filled up if it, if one takes C2, C2, sigma V into C2 as sigma 
V as the entry in the box 1 or sigma into C2 as sigma star as the entry. Then there is a choice sigma V into C2 is equal to sigma V. Then in column 3, sigma V will be repeated, thus it is not a correct product. So we have to take sigma V C2 as sigma V dash. Similarly, C2 into sigma V dash is equal to sigma. Thus taking these symmetry products, remaining tables can be completed using rearrangement theorem. The group multiplication table for CV2, C2B point group is given like this. That is, we are having all these 16 entries and in group multiple table, none of the entries is repeated in either a group or in a column. Power of group multiplication table enables us to write the complete group multiplication tables without knowing all the relations between the members. Now we come to now another point, group generator. Group generators in a group, small number of elements or subset may generate the elements of the whole group. Then these small number of elements are called group generators. For example, if in a group of A, B, C, D, E, F, there is a small set of elements, say A, B, C, which can generate the remaining elements of the group, either by the products of these A, B, C, or by their inverses of A, B, C, then, then A, B, C are known as the group generator of the or group. To explain this, let us take C3 point group. The group elements of C3 point groups are E, C31, C32. In this C3 group, subset containing C31 can be generated, can generate the rest of the elements of the group. C31 into C31 is equal to C32. C31 into C31 into C31 is equal to A. That is, C31 is the group generator for the C3 point group. In another example, let us take D3H point group. The group elements are the symmetry operation E, 2C3, 3C2, 3 sigma, sigma H, and 2S3. Here, C3V generates C31, C32, and E. C31 and C3 perpendicular to C31 C21 perpendicular to C3 generates all C2 and sigma V. Thus, C31 and sigma H generates 2S3. So, only C31, C2 perpendicular to C31 and sigma H can generate all the symmetry operations of the D3H point group. If there is only one generator, generator group is called cyclic. This is the case for Cn, S2n, like this, we have the group generators. Now for Ci group, center of inversion, for Cs group, one mirror plane, like this, we can get all the products. For Cnv, one, we have Cn axis and N sigma v. Like this, we can have the symmetry, essential symmetry elements for a point group. That is, these are the group generators for the whole point groups. So, by knowing the small number or subset of elements, we can generate the whole group and this is known as the group generators.
symmetry properties of some atomic orbitals. In this section of the module 11, I shall just mention the symmetry properties of some common atomic orbital with the reference to Cartesian coordinates. Slide over here gives the sum of the orbitals, s orbital, px orbital, dxy orbital, dz orbital, pi star orbitals and the direction of these orbitals is also shown. Dotted lines they show the sigma plane in them. Now let us take one by one and try to find out the symmetry properties of this. Now s orbital is totally symmetrical about x, y, z axis and is, it has infinite symmetry elements of each type. You can give any rotation, you can get, take any reflection, it has this. Now let us take px orbital which has, let me just take px orbital, I am just taking this is px orbital as it is positive lobe is pointing towards you and negative, negative lobe is pointing towards me. Here it has a nodal plane yz, this is my nodal plane yz, this is y axis and this is a nodal plane yz. In this, at this nodal plane there is a change in side, this is the nodal plane over here and there is a sign, this is a positive and then it goes to negative side. For every point in this lobe, that is a right lobe, I am having this, if I put it like this, here it is a negative lobe and there is an equivalent point at equidistance from the node, that is in this lobe, this is the positive lobe. Reflection of any point of the negative lobe through this point, yz plane, to the other side, that is the positive lobe, gives equivalent point. But with sign is reversed. It means with respect to this yz plane, it means with respect to this yz plane, px orbital is anti-symmetric because I am starting with the negative, then through this nodal plane, I am going to the positive side. So it is anti-symmetric with respect to this yz plane. Now, if during such reflection for another orbital, one gets the equidistant point at equivalent, equidistant from the node after reflection with same sign. That is, if I have a orbital, here it is not, if I have a orbital in which after reflection I get the same point with the same sign, then I will say this orbital to be symmetric with respect to the reflection operation. Now we can take the dyz orbital and let us find out the symmetry. Uh, we can work out similarly <coughs> the symmetry and anti-symmetric properties of this molecule. How this y sigma yz i c2x perpendicular to yz and anti-symmetric with respect to these planes, it can be worked out. Let us now take the G, dz square orbital, that is, which is a symmetrical with res, respect to x, y, z axis and also with respect to all the planes dxz, dyz, dxy. So dxz square is highly symmetrical. Now let us take pi star, anti-pi star orbital, which is as far as symmetry properties are concerned is equal to dzx orbital as shown in this. So like this, we can work out the symmetry properties of all the orbitals and if we take the Cartesian coordinates as the basis for coordinate coordinate in which these orbitals, if it is symmetric means any operation about these axes will not change. If it is anti-symmetric, that the operation about these axes or any reflection will change the negative lobe to the positive lobe. Hence, it will be anti-symmetric.
Now, in this module, we have learnt about the meaning of the group multiplication table and what is this has been explained. How to find group entries has been explained. Rearrangement theory has been defined and is its importance has been a stress, stressed. Construction of G2, G3, G4 groups has been explained. And multiplication, group multiplication table for C to B point group has been given and how, define, how to find entries in it was also explained. What is group generator? Generator was explained and number of essential elements in a, for a group to generate the whole group has been given into this. Now, in the end of this module, I have taken symmetry properties of some of the orbitals, S orbitals, Px orbitals, Dyz orbital, Gz orbital, and T pi star orbitals with respect to Cartesian coordinates have been explained.